The church ends our Easter celebration on this Feast of Pentecost 50 days after Easter. And in the gospel story this evening, it takes place on Easter Sunday night when Jesus comes to the disciples and he gives them the gift of his Holy Spirit. And did you hear how Jesus gives it to them? He breathes on them. Imagine, and gives them the gift of his spirit for one purpose, so that they would have strength and courage and all that they would need to go forward and to proclaim Christ crucified, but raised from the dead and his spirit alive and now living in them. What I want us to think about today, we live in that same spirit that Jesus gave to those first disciples. On the day of our baptism, in our confirmation, when we hear the words of scripture and gather in faith to celebrate the Eucharist, Jesus comes to us again and again, and he breathes on us the gift of his Holy Spirit. And that gift is given for one reason, that in all we do, not just in our words, but in all that we do and how we live our lives, we proclaim Christ who died but was raised from the dead, now living in us in our mission of love. Today I'd ask you to consider where do you need that gift of the Spirit to help you be strong in that mission of love, to be more patient, to listen more than speak, so that you can be more understanding of others, especially those who are different. Where do we need that gift of the Spirit to strengthen us in our mission of love? Today, as we gather, Jesus breathes on us and gives to us the gift of his spirit. And all we need to do is open our minds and our hearts and our arms and say, come, Holy Spirit, come.